Monitor the operation of electrical, electronic and control systems. Battery maintenance. Batteries are one of the energy sources available on board vessels, which are used in case of blackout and emergency situations on board a ship. These batteries apparently used for low-voltage DC system like bridge navigational instruments, emergency lighting, GMDSS, etc. and thus kept charged to be used in case of emergency or need for temporary power. When a battery is being charged, it gives off hydrogen and oxygen and the mixture that is formed subsequently can be easily ignited. Maintenance of batteries. Compartments in which batteries are kept should be well ventilated to prevent any buildup of dangerous and flammable toxic gases. A conspicuous label stating no smoking, no naked lights should be displayed on the outside of the door leading into the compartment as well as inside the compartment so that the personnel makes no mistakes. The light bulbs in the compartment must be protected by gas tight enclosures and all the wiring leading into the lights must be well insulated and not a messy bunch. All battery connections must be clean and neat and tight. Personal protective clothing such as goggles, rubber gloves, appropriate boiler suits must be worn when handling batteries. Checks to be made on battery. Battery top side should be maintained clean and dry. Keep the vents clear and free of deposits. Check electrolyte levels and top up with distilled water till the plates are covered. Keep terminals connections tight free of corrosion and coated with petroleum jelly to prevent corrosion. Measure the relative density of the electrolyte as this indicates the state of charge of the cell. The relative density varies from 1.275 to 1.285 for a fully charged lead acid battery and falls to 1.1 when discharged fully. Battery's charging condition is checked by hydrometer. A hydrometer is an instrument used for measuring the relative density of liquids based on the concept of buoyancy. They are typically calibrated and graduated with one or more scales such as specific gravity.